Hey guys, it's Kirsten. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a place where I show my followers how to get practical when it comes to meal planning and meal prepping every week. It's my goal to help you save money, waste less, and get healthier this year. I hope to achieve these goals through these videos, but I also do this through my newsletter. Every single week, I send my followers a free meal plan and grocery list that they can follow for their week. So if this sounds like something that you need, make sure to sign up for my newsletter in the link below and I'll start sending these out to you. Now, sometimes if I'm lucky, I'll have enough time where I can sit at the table with a cup of coffee, look through some new magazines and books and get recipe inspiration, which yes, I did today. I'm in my pajamas, no shame. But usually I don't have the luxury to do that. I have a few go-to recipes in those moments where time's tight and I just need to eat food um, that I'll use over and over and over again. Today I'm gonna show you two of those go-to recipes that I use. The first is an overnight oat that's really easy to make and then a bento style lunchbox that I use pretty much every single week. All right, we're gonna start with the overnight oats. For this recipe, you'll need two thirds cup of rolled oats, two thirds cup of unsweetened almond milk, half a cup of fresh or frozen berries, a tablespoon of peanut butter, and a teaspoon of maple syrup. I like to put the oats in a wide mouth mason jar. It makes it easier to scoop out the oats compared to the more common mason jars with smaller lids. To make the oats, place the rolled oats in first. Pour the almond milk over the oats. Add the maple syrup and make sure to measure so you don't overdo it on the sugar. Next, throw in the peanut butter and top it with those berries. Whoops, one berry went rogue. Whatever, still eating it. Now you're going to mix it all up so the peanut butter is evenly mixed. Once mixed, make sure to pat down the oats so they are completely submerged in the milk. They're good to go. Seal them up and let them sit in the fridge overnight. Next is setting up lunch. For lunches, you're going to need a protein, I chose tuna salad, balsamic dressing for the salad, a quarter cup of peanuts or some other fatty food, one serving of carbs, I chose crackers, and a vegetable like arugula. First, let me teach you how to make my balsamic dressing. I use this leftover salsa container and remove the label, which if you want to learn how to do, the link is below. Make the dressing with a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar and half a cup of olive oil. I use two quarter cups for less dishes. Sprinkle some garlic salt on there based on how salty you like your dressing. Do not refrigerate. This dressing is perfectly fine sitting in your pantry. Now I'll show you how to make my tuna salad. I use solid white albacore tuna in water and I like to grab the larger size so I can make multiple servings of tuna at a time. To do so, drain the tuna and put it in a bowl. The recipe is pretty simple. I just use a tablespoon of mayonnaise for every small can. So for the larger cans, I use two tablespoons. Sprinkle this with garlic salt as well and mix it up. I recently got this stainless steel eco box that's perfect for storing a bento box style lunch. It splits up into two different sections and with a small container on the top level. Oh, also like how I have my camera set up? Since the tuna is a wetter food, I put it in the smaller container. I put the arugula on the bottom container, keeping the leaves nice and dry. I fit the smaller container on that top section along with the crackers for the tuna. I use one of my smaller dressing containers to separate the balsamic, then place the peanuts in that smaller section on the side.
I usually also like to bring a snack with me, so to keep it simple, I brought a bar. And that's everything. Easy lunch to make, didn't take too much time, no real cooking required, and it's super filling for your day. There you go. Those are two really easy recipes that you can use during your week for breakfast and lunches. They're also pretty versatile. You can use different berries or different butters in your overnight oats. And then also that bento box, lunch box, you can do any way that you want. As long as you've got a veggie, a carb, a protein, and a fat, you'll feel full and ready to go for the rest of your day. Thanks so much for following along, guys. I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you want free meal plans, make sure to sign up for my newsletter below and also subscribe to this channel and maybe even give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. See you guys next time.